Good morning students welcome in social science classroom today in this classroom we will discuss chapter 12 communication in modern times after the completion of chapter you will be able to learn the importance of modern communication in daily life with their uses you will also contrast between modern and old methods of communication in the in the last you will understand the evolution or changes that were done in communication means let's talk about the old times communication methods do you know in earlier times human beings had different means to share their thoughts ideas joy sorrow with each other example they were using drum beating smoke signal painting on the caves and written work on the clay tablet such kind of methods were used to convey the message information or to express their expression to each other as there was no transport of means sometime they used birds animal and messengers to convey information from one area to the other all these methods were helpful to convey messages or information from one person to other but today in the modern time a revolutionary change has taken place in the means of communication these are considered in two types personal communication and mass communication first of all we will discuss the personal communication that means it's a communication between the sender and the receiver we do personal communication with the help of letter fax telephone internet etc this kind of communication helps to convey information or messages only between two person The second type of communication is mass communication that is used to convey message or information to a large number of people at the same time in it we use radio television newspaper books etc to convey information or message to a large number of people This communication is very easy, faster and in fact instant helps to convey the information. Both type of communication, personal and mass, help to share ideas, conduct business, spread awareness and education and helps to spend our free time. Now let's discuss about the most important mass communication that is mobile phone mobile phone that is very useful device you know it allow access to parent friends and business contact whether residing anywhere in the world it has become the most popular means of communication today in the modern times a rickshaw puller can to top business class person also uses it it helps to provide a lot of services like text messaging videos radio games calculator compass light internet and gps system as i told you mobile helps to send text messages and mms text messaging the another form is sms that means short messaging service and mms that means multimedia messages in mms we can send video images and many more services the other important communication mean is satellite without it no mobile no internet and other system like television will not work when you are watching any match that is playing in any part of the world it's possible only with the help of satellites they are sent high into the space 
through big rockets these helpers to telecast programs in different cities or countries the first satellite of india was aryabhata that was launched on 19th april 1975 with the help of these satellites we can easily view matches movie can do teleconferencing video conference and do network in any part of the world internet provided by satellite is helpful in business industry education healthcare traveling entertainment etc it has brought in new forms of social interaction with the help of internet we can also use many apps that are important in business education or entertainment as you know that during corona period it's also very important to take zoom classes for the education system the another communication mean is twitter that is known as social networking site that was created in 2008 it's a unique and help to user can write means tweet messages from either their computer or cell phone in short the concept of twitter help us to understand the idea that people can stay updated without spending a lot of time it also helps to provide information like a newspaper in few seconds of any part of the world we can also easily exchange the idea or information in few minutes with a cup of tea or coffee in early morning email have also replaced letter and postcard almost completely in urban areas they are quicker to write and send we can be sure that they will reach the addresses instantly you can use the internet services with the help of mobile phone also to send an email to the main person to whom you want to send it has brought a great change in the business environment of the world teleconferencing is also helpful to exchange of information between people who are not at the same place physically it allows student to exchange information with other student and teacher in other country business companies can conduct meeting instruction for customer staff training demonstration and even workshop through teleconferencing for the telephone conferencing we need microphone or speaker phone and speaker system to converse exchange information and ideas with others last important means of communication is video conferencing in it a conference is done between two or more participants who are at different places by using computer network to transmit audio and video information the system is like a video telephone each participant has a video camera microphone and speaker on his or her computer as the two participants speak to one another their voices are carried over the network and heard by the other participants through their speakers images that appear in the front of the video camera can be seen on the other participants monitor perfect for staff meeting where the members are in different cities and countries all the communication are very important on daily life as it saves time and money and easy to convey messages or information to each other thank you